Hello viewers, here is an AT&T telephone. This is a corded telephone with speakerphone. And it is the model number CL2940. And this does not focus up close. I don't think it's supposed to. This is the first telephone video perhaps the only telephone video that I'm recording with the GOES Pro camera. And the reason I'm doing this is because the microphone on the GOES Pro camera is situated on a flat surface that I believe I would be able to take the telephone's earpiece right up to and get a good clear pickup of what's on the telephone. Because on the other camera, well, at least when it's on the tripod anyways, there's not really a good way to get the handset close to the microphones. And so, consequently, the only part of the video that doesn't really come out the way I'd like it to when I'm recording with this camera, when it comes to phone videos, is the listening to the phone's earpiece. Which is kind of a significant thing. So... I'm wondering if perhaps for certain phone videos this may work out better because we'll be able to hear the telephone's earpiece better. Or perhaps not. I have no idea. It's all experimental at this point. So anyways, this is a corded speakerphone with no answering machine. They make a model very similar to this with an answering machine. I do have one. I don't see an AC power input on this telephone. The one with the AC with the answering machine does require AC power. I guess this one does not. The uh display is working, so it must have batteries in them in it in the unit here. Oh gosh. <laughs> ah, they're a leak a cell. <sighs> Let's see what these pieces of junks are made in. These expire in March of 2030. So we've got quite a ways to go, but I don't trust it. I think they're going to leak any soon. Doors will like destroy us, so they break everything you put them in. Well, I'll leave them in there for the next 15 minutes during the video, but then they're coming out because I don't trust them things one bit. Well, I got the phone turned over. Let's go ahead and plug the telephone line in. Like most of the AT&T equipment that I've worked with that's made in more recent times, I've been generally satisfied with the quality. This has nice rubber feet that have quite a bit of grip to them. So when you put this onto a, a hard surface, it's not a carpet, it's not going to drag too easily. And the base even has a decent amount of weight to it as well. I will grab a piece of wood, which I'll put the telephone on during the uh, speakerphone test. In fact, well, what this is going to do, let's see, does that look better? Gives it more contrast. Maybe I'll leave it like that for the video. There's kind of a glare here. Where's that coming from? I may not be able to get rid of that. I can make the screen more visible though. All right, so it's saying in use slash no line. The display seems kind of dim. Let's see if we can change the contrast. Whoops, date and time. Okay. We may have had a liquid spill. This is a little bit sticky. There's the contrast setting. And that's too much because then you start seeing the non things that aren't being displayed. We'll go with three, that looks pretty good. Dial mode. Oh, it's got Tony and Pulse. It's trilingual menus. And yeah, one's a little bit sticky. Everything else seems to be. Okay, uh, maybe the eight's a bit sticky too. Let's 
Actually, we have three different area codes now in this area. Um, we have uh, 475 and 860 now. I don't need anything in there. Can we just delete it? Okay. How do we get out of here? Cancel. Okay. So, all right. Do we got a ringer volume on here? It probably is just a um, piezo ringer because there's no power. Oh, here's the ringer volume. Feels like it's got three levels off. One, two, three. Start on three. Okay, I'll turn the thing over here. That gives it a line. And it displays the model number on the screen, which is kind of ridiculous. It's just it's just useless information to the average user. So let's say two there's no junk on the screen. 2940CL2940. Like, who cares what the model number is that they need to know all the time? And that's, that's ludicrous. Should be able to change it, or it should just say nothing. Only 24 allowed. Okay. It's an interesting error message. Okay, well, let's go ahead and call this thing up. The CL2940. Oh, it's got that ringer. I like that ringer. Okay, let's lower that down to the second notch. Okay, and the first notch. It's got a good range to it. I suspect this is now off. Yeah, that's off. Keep it up there. Okay, so it rings just fine. Testing, testing, one, two, three. That's it. That's as loud as the speakerphone goes. I suspect that this probably was not a very good speakerphone because from my experience, most of the speakerphones that are either line-powered or battery-powered are just not very good. All right, let's go to the mains and let's make an outside call. Distorts pretty fast. Greetings from Joe's Family Farms, where we are busy working on all of our crops out here in the pumpkin fields, the vineyards, and the Christmas trees. This is the message for the crisp weather of Friday, October 1st. And it is an ideal opportunity to visit the winery and our pumpkin fields this weekend. First, the winery. The winery is open Thursday through Sunday, on Thursday and Fridays from 12 p.m., and on Saturday and Sundays from 11 a.m. Uh, we close at 6 p.m. at the winery. It is located at our homestead, 606 Walnut Tree Hill Road in Shelton, Connecticut. This is a separate location from the pumpkins, which we will discuss in a bit. You can pre-order bottles. It's not terrible. The sound quality is decent if you don't need the volume. So here's the handset. We purchase bottle sales upon arrival at our winery to bring back home. In addition to our wines, our shop includes farm-made jams from our berries, farm-made honey from our hives, along with regionally produced cheeses, crackers, and unique farm gift items. Note that we do not allow open bottles at the winery. Now, wine by the glass table service is a great way to relax with some wine and light fare food items. 
On-site registrations are welcome. However, registrations are highly encouraged to ensure table service on Saturdays and Sundays. Table service slots occur at 4.30 as we do, or, or occur until 4.30 as we close at 6 p.m. Uh, our tables are located outside. Uh, details are on our website regarding table sizes and other aspects for reservations. Now, wine tastings with our wine educators is a great way to learn about wine and food pairings. Also, uh, reservations are encouraged to ensure your time for a wine tasting, particularly on a Saturday or Sunday. Uh, wine tasting slots. I think that sounds very good on the handset. And it goes quite loud, too. And that audio assist thing does make a difference. Oh, gross. The disgusting. There's all like sticky junk on the cord. Ugh, gross. Okay, that's, that's repulsive. Anyways, let's go back to the mains and let's record a message onto the testing the Jatan answering machine. I gotta clean this thing. It's, the switcher's got it's like gotta be deoxidant or something. I think three is pretty clear, but a little distortion. Geese honk. This is a testing message from the AT&T. Of course, now I want the model number and it's off the screen. The microphone is the fake on the top, and the real microphone is located just below it. And I'm speaking very near to it at the moment. Now it's back on the table, and I'll move it onto the carpet just for a second so we can get a comparison. Okay, now it's on the carpet. What is the difference in the sound? I have found sometimes that I prefer the sound of it on the carpet because it's less harsh. Okay, I'll put it back on the carpet, or on the table now. Or, Well, it's been on the table the whole time. It's back on a piece of wood. Now I'm going to start moving back away from the telephone. Right now I'm about two to three feet away from the telephone. Four feet away from the telephone. This distance is about as far as I would expect it to work at. If it works here, and it sounds clear that's good. If it doesn't work much beyond that, I, I'm i not surprised. But I'll keep going back just in case it is still working. So now this is at about six feet away, seven feet away, eight feet away, nine feet away, 10 feet away. And this is all the way across the room at the 11 foot mark. And I haven't heard the testing engine machine cut off yet. So it looks like it may be picking up pretty good. The over and the out. Okay, now I will call and record a message from the handset. This is the second, oh that's loud, jeez, good grief. This is the second and final testing message from this AT&T Digitan telephone. Well, I guess it's an Anatan telephone, perhaps. The handset volume is very loud and the uh, side tone volume is almost deafening, even at the lowest volume setting. Goodbye. Okay, now let's take a lesson to our testing messages here. Two new messages and ten old messages. Message one. This is a testing message from the AT&T. Of course, now I want the model number and it's off the screen. The microphone is the fake on the top, and the real microphone is located just below it. And I'm speaking very near to it at the moment.
now it's back on the table, and I'll move it onto the carpet just for a second so we can get a comparison. Okay, now it's on the carpet. What is the difference in the sound? I have found sometimes that I prefer to sound a bit on the carpet because it's less harsh. Okay, I'll put it back on the carpet, or on the table now. Or, well, it's been on the table the whole time. It's back on a piece of wood. Now I'm going to start moving back away from the telephone. Right now I'm about two to three feet away from the telephone, four feet away from the telephone. This distance is about as far as I would expect it to work at. If it works here and it sounds clear, that's good. If it doesn't work much beyond that, I, I'm not surprised. But I'll keep going back just in case it is still working. So now this is at about six feet away, seven feet away, eight feet away, nine feet away, ten feet away. And this is all the way across the room at the 11 foot mark. And I haven't heard the testing engine machine cut off yet, so it looks like it may be picking up pretty good. The over and the out. Message two. This is the second. Oh, that's loud. This is the second and final testing message from this AT&T Digitan telephone. Well, I guess it's an Anatan telephone, perhaps. The handset volume is very loud, and the uh, side tone volume is almost deafening, even at the lowest volume setting. Goodbye. End of messages. Okay, so that speakerphone is surprisingly good. I was not expecting that at all. The incoming volume could be a lot better. You know, it kind of has that distortion to it if you turn it up too much past halfway. But the pickup is really, really good, which is unusual for these kind of telephones where it doesn't have any AC power input. There's only one other line, uh, I guess this isn't really line powered, this is battery powered, but there's one other line powered speakerphone I could think of offhand. It's a General Electric telephone, branded telephone, and that's a line powered speakerphone and it's pretty good. And that's really the only line powered speakerphone I know of that's really good. All right, so one last thing I want to do since the speakerphone is seems to be pretty good, I want to test the duplexity of it. So I'm going to call, we'll call, oh, and also I want to say I think it sounds better on the carpet. So I'm going to put it back on the carpet. I'm going to call the weather phone. And I'm going to speak as this is speaking, which of course you should never speak when somebody else is speaking, but sometimes you get background noise and things. Good evening. So Life let's see, as I'm speaking, does it People cut off the audio? No, it does not cut off the audio very much. Hey, and when it does cut it off to hear what Saturday, I'm saying, October it comes right back. So I would have to say that this speakerphone's Current duplexity is quite good. Go! Okay. So the duplexity is good. Jeez, I'm I'm really surprised that f this phone, I think this is only like an economy model. I'm surprised that this phone works as sounds as good as it does. Really surprised, pleasantly too. So this is the advanced American telephones. I think if I was to buy a telephone today, this is the brand I would go to, the Advanced American Telephones. I've been a lot happier with the stuff I've used from them than what I've used from the Panasonic. So, well, I think that's about to wrap up the video. Let's get these destructive the cell things out of here because they're just not even worth the time of day. Those won't be ruining this telephone. <laughs>